Welcome in everyone, how you guys doing? If you guys decided to hit that subscribe, like, share, and we're gonna get straight into this reaction. Someone asked me to react to this. Um, we got, I think, Young Miami. Um, what was it? She is uh, talking about her relationship. Oh, here we are. Young Miami on a relationship with Diddy, JT, Fallout, and reclaiming her voice. Carisha, please. Okay. All right, so. I don't know about the rest of the stuff because I'm not sure about this whole JT fallout claiming her voice. So hopefully they talk about the Diddy stuff because I'll be reacting to that. Um, it's a long interview, so yo, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I have the one and only, my best friend, Saucy Santana. I'm here. We getting to <laughs> all things Korean. Firstly, I've seen, I've seen this dude a few, few places on social media. All right, let's sure, go. I want to call this episode Carisha Speaks. Ooh. Because I feel like you don't talk much. Oh, I feel like you let a lot of okay. stuff just, you know, roll over. You know, you'll talk amongst me and you and amongst close ones, but I don't really feel like you address everything. And so today I want you to take this time to put everything on the flow, get it all out, because okay. once you talk okay. today, then nobody's going to hear people till 2028, baby. Thank you. <laughs> First off, I'd like to say, like, I ain't even heard the interview, but I did not really like how a lot of people were going at. And I've never really listened to Young Miami. I don't know her backstory. I don't know much about her. But I know when everything was going on with Diddy, a lot of people were bashing her name. And I'm like, yo, bro, y'all are quick to put down and bring down a woman, a sister. You know what I'm saying? but not just a sister, a female, when it comes to um, a guy, a guy's narcissistic behavior, like, you know, especially when people feel that they knew or had a hand in it or looked the other way. And we never know the full story because, you know what I mean, history has shown a lot of these guys out here who are serial whatevers you know what i mean they have a family and their family never know nothing you know a lot of people were cursing cassie when she brought out the lawsuit bashing her name and all kind of saw all kind of memes and tweets and then the video comes out everybody's like oh shit hope everybody went and apologized you know what i'm saying so sometimes as well that's what i'm saying when it comes to certain people and i'm not trying to praise no diddy no way like that is brr. Put them under the jail cell, you know what I'm saying? Um, but not because somebody is with someone or friends with someone or even used to be in business, friendship, whatever it is, can you just all of them automatically now class them as guilty by association? Especially if the association stopped. You know, but who am I to talk? Let's go. <laughs> I want you to say today and let everything out, get everything off your chest, and we're gonna get into it. Let's go, I'm ready. So I want to get into mental health mm -hmm. with you. I feel mm -hmm. like um, Ross, I just want to check back. on, and I feel like everybody wants to know Santana just these joking. days, how are you? Just in general with life, your kids, um, family, and just with your career. Like where are you at mentally? I'm just all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going, I'm going through a lot. And some days I just be like, everybody go through this in their career and their life. I feel like in life, everybody go through something, whether it's a breakup, a divorce, a death, just like whatever it is. And I feel like... Let it out. This is a safe space. This is your space to be okay. vulnerable. Let's go. Let's go. And just really, you know, let out how you feel. So mentally, like... One minute I'm happy, one minute I'm sad. One minute I'm kind of like, fuck this shit. And then, oh God. the next minute, I'm looking at my kids and I'm like. And you know something before as well too, I'll be, I remember when I was younger, I'd look at this and go, man, look at this person here faking these tears. Like real talk, come on now. You're bigger than this, but because I've seen 
tweets and memes where they were dragging her name. You know what I'm saying? So I say sometimes you never the whole you never know the whole story, and I don't even know the story. I'm just going from what I saw, and it was man, it was terrible, man. You know, I felt ashamed for some of the people who were writing this shit. Like really, you know. So yeah, let's go. I ain't bring us this far to go backwards. Yeah. Mm. Go on, girl. I work hard. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, Beautiful as well, too, man. Do your thing, man. Keep your head up. I put in a lot of time and effort in this shit. I did it when I was fighting alone. And I feel like in life, you got to go through shit to get through shit. Like, Usher said that, and I was like, wow, that's some real shit. Yeah. And I feel like in life, everybody is going through something. Whether it's a divorce, whether it's a death, whether it's they just lost their job, just anything. Mm. And that's what keep me going because I know that like life not perfect and we gotta learn from our mistakes and life is a lesson. And I feel like the people that I thought that would be in my corner mm. or that are like, when I was going through this shit, nobody called me, check mm. Nobody called me to see how I was doing. Like people- When days are dark, friends are few. That is so true. You know, you know who your true friends are when you go through struggles. You hit the bottom of that barrel and that friend is there a few steps above or ahead of you, reaching back to, yo, you with me, you know, let's go. Don't give up, bruv. I'm not going until you come. Let's roll. We come into here together, together, we leave it together. That's real friendship. And sometimes it's when you go through the hard times, you realize who your friends are because none of them are around. They're there when you reach a high point, success, in your life, you know what I'm saying? Money, everything. But the minute you lose all of that shit, nowhere to be seen. Same can be said for family. They say blood is thicker than water. Shh. Not all the time, you know what I mean? It was really like, I have, you thought. Yeah. So when it comes to Diddy, why do you mm. think that you are so heavily involved in everything? Like, I've, everything that comes out about him, like you said, it's automatically, well, what you think? Mm -hmm. Well, why you, how you feel? What you got to say? Because people feel like um, I was Diddy Biggest cheerleader and I made him my brand. Mm, okay. And I feel like- I like how she answered that Diddy up. was on brand for me. I got with Diddy and Brian to my life. I had him at the office. I was still doing Richard Roulette in the split. All yeah. right on, Ari. Off of my ass. I ain't never think I was bigger than the program. I was still on my city world shit. I was still doing remixes. Don't play with it. City I was Gucci girls. Man. Gucci Man. I'm still working. City, girls. I, we, city girls was on tour with Jack Harlow. We had At Bad. You know, Diddy came to me with the song. Told JT let's be on this record. Like, I was still doing city girl shit. I was heavily involved in the group. I never thought I was bigger than the program. So, with, with Diddy, what was your experience with dating him? Because I feel like in the headlines, it's a lot of just chaos and it's a lot of um, allegations. And so mm. I think that's what makes people feel like, well, since you were so shit. heavily involved. Um, I gotta get something out of that. He ain't shying away. He asking the question straight up, not even beating around yet. the bush like, yeah. Okay, let's go. Um, <laughs> you, are, you, you are a part of these things or you are around these things. So what was your experience like, you know, dating him? Well, I mm. met Diddy at Pea Party and I met him when he was in a love era. And I met Diddy when the world was celebrating him and giving him mm. his flowers while he was alive. Mm -hmm. Like he did, he was getting the Global Icon Award, the Lifetime okay. Achievement Award, okay. the Key to you the see? City. He had a new album that was coming out. So I was celebrating him with the world. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like everybody's trying to crucify me for it. Like, yeah. you, was, you was his biggest advocate, you was his chili, but I was just celebrating when the world was celebrating him. Mm -hmm. So why am I being crucified or why am I being separated? You know what I'm saying? Everybody there was all Sean Combs, P. Diddy. And she, and she said, I was there when everybody was celebrating him. I, I only knew the positive. So she didn't know nothing about the negative. And by the sounds of it, he didn't let her know anything. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm looking at this whole thing. Why is, I'm seeing revolt up here. And did he use her own revolt? And then he stepped away because of this whole drama going on. But he still got shares. So I'm still here like, hold up there. You know, even though he stepped away, he still has something to do with it. And this is a revolt. Hold up, man. Let's go down there. 
Here's Revolt TV. Hmm. But Santana's asking some questions here where if he did control it, he would be asking this shit. But at the same time, though, nothing here is really saying anything negative about him in general. It's kind of keeping it level, playing it safe. But if this is the accounts that she has from being with him, you can't even say it. I can't even say she's playing it safe. She's only telling you what she experienced. And if this is what she experienced, man, this is her truth. So people shouldn't be going at her. Real talking, you know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, when I was there, it was love, 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 the frequency, the frequency is how We used to laugh, because I used to like, him and it's always, what's up, queen? Yes, so I just felt like I met him like a, in a whole new area, and that wasn't my experience. Mm -hmm. Like, when I met him, it was just like, I told y'all on season one, I even asked him, like, why you fucking with me? Why you fucking with the city girl? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why are you, why you coming into my room? Because I'm on some whole other shit. Like, you know, you know my lyrics and stuff. Yeah. And it's just like, when I got him, got with him, he was just a man. And like, it was more of like, okay, we ain't gonna do that. We gonna sit, we gonna communicate, we gonna get solutions. What's going on? Like, we ain't even going that route. So that was my experience with him. So yeah. a, lot of the, a lot of the things that people really like say about him, you didn't experience that as in dating. That's not something that, you exactly saw, so exactly is that the I'm reason saying. why you never said anything? Is that the reason why when all of these allegations and lawsuits came apart, like, why didn't you speak? Because I can't speak on something that wasn't my experience, and I can't speak on something that I don't know. I can't speak Yo. on these allegations because I wasn't around at the time. I don't know that person, and that wasn't my experience. Yep. So well, that's with I I like you that. being, I, like that answer. I feel like, mm a survivor of domestic violence. He never hit you in a relationship. He was never violent. It was that something that you had to tolerate or that just that that wasn't a that wasn't a part of, you know, because I feel like that's the biggest thing to him right now is, you know, what he going through in these lawsuits and, you know, that video that came out. And it's like I feel like a lot of people are wondering, was that your experience? And I know personally that you've been through domestic violence before, and I don't think that's something that, I know that's something that you've grown from and that mm -hmm. you don't tolerate. Yeah, you go through that, you ain't going through it again. I've been through domestic violence in two relationships. And mm -hmm. I told myself, I think the second relationship, I would never put myself in that situation again, especially now being that I'm a mom. I'm a mom. I was a mother then, but like have my daughter. Like I would never put myself in that position. I don't stand for domestic violence. I'm just not going for that. So do you feel like with dating Diddy, like, was it a business relationship? Do you feel like it was mm -hmm. beneficial for you? I feel like it was beneficial for both of us. Mm -hmm. I think okay. that, like, you know, I was able to come and be a brand ambassador for that Leon and take it to a whole nother, le whole nother level, because I feel like, I won't say nobody wasn't drinking that Leon, but- Nobody wasn't drinking that Leon. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, a drink? <laughs> but drink, right? when I came, it was just like, it's a city or a summer, we drink it. Deleon, we acting bad. So I feel like I was an asset. I honestly just feel like with Diddy, like, you know, I met him at a pee party and I don't know what his intentions was, but I don't know if it was like business or he really liked me, but I felt like, you know, he, when he got me, he really saw something in me. And that's why I, he was like, you know what? You got a big personality. Like, mm -hmm. you, you, you can, you should do a podcast. Like, you, you know how to engage in conversations. Like, you got, like, you know how to ask good questions. So, yeah. so I felt like, you know, I came into his world and I was able to, like, turn everything he had going on up a notch. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he had Deleon. I was able to have the whole world drinking Deleon, putting in his songs. Like, I made it popular, you know? Yeah. And then with Revolt, I was able to come and make it the number one podcast on Revolt. Yeah. So I felt like, you know, and then with him, it was like he was able to, you know, take my career to the next level. I, I did the Met Gala. I got ready with old. Like I wasn't, I wasn't going into the relationship thinking like, I want to get a purse. I want to go on private so, jets. I want to get yeah, diamonds. Like, I'm, I feel though. like I'm up on a mogul. I, I want to- day too, if you hear around someone who got knowledge and experience, you better be walking away with some kind of, um, some kind of lessons you've learned, you know? Real talking. But that's what I'm saying. I'm seeing this revolt, and I'm just in the back of my head. I'm like, yo, but is this is this a interview here trying to help clean up his image by speaking to the last person who he was with? And obviously, you can't fault her for what she's experienced because she, as she said, she can only speak on what she's experienced. 
no fault at all, man. Like, people need to chill the fuck out. Leave her alone. Yeah. But in the process, though, it kind of not really makes him look good, but it doesn't paint him in a, that light which we all have been seeing over the media and footage we saw in this people. There ain't no coming back from that. Yeah, let's go. I want to learn something. You know, like, I want to learn business. I want to learn how to... Okay, you got a network. How can I get a network? Or, you know, you, you, you had a Sean John. How can I make Carisha please the next Sean John? So I went into that relationship, like, on a, on a like, more of, like, I want to become a mogul and I want to learn about, up under you. You know, those, most people just want to get their body done. You want to get a trip. You want to uh -huh. just do that video. No, I wasn't one of them. And mm -hmm. I, I, that's what I respect about you because even though you a city girl, um, me being your best friend and knowing you, you very woman -y. I always say that, and like just a grown woman. And so I even seen the elevation in your production um, and your team that you started hiring business managers. Hello. Out. And I, was like, I think that it, I think that like when you get around people, you see certain things. Like you're able to yeah, like you, you should be able to learn up. something from somebody. And I felt like I was able to see like how should my business be operating. Like I should have a chief of staff. Yeah. I should have a business manager. You know, I should have all these things in place. And that's what I was learning. Like I took that more of like a learning experience as far as like trying to become a mogul. That's why I'm like, I'm a mogul. I'm a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. I'm not just a rapper. Like I'm big in rap. So um, I'm ready to get into some hey, smoke because hey, okay. I feel like you popping it and you putting everything on the flow. So the we smoke, really want to yeah. dig a little deeper into your mind. Okay. You ready for the smoke? I'm ready for the smoke. Is you ready? So when it comes to, you know, City Girls and JT, y'all was having an argument on Twitter. You felt like, you know, um, she was making songs about you. She felt like you thought. Uh, this is a part where. I can't, I'm not really going to react because I have no idea about the City Girls, the JT. I think they were talking about JT and reclaiming her voice. I don't know much about that. So, yeah, um, here we just had um, Young Miami here talking about her experiences. And as I said, nobody could fault her for, for what she experienced. You know, those are her truths. People need to stop um, bashing in and trying to pull people down because of what they've done or where they've been in the sense of association. Because I swear when all this came out, she cut ties with him. You know what I mean? So um, let me know what you guys think. Hit me down in the comment section. I'd like to hear your opinion. And I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Take care. Be safe. Blessed love.